Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. The day's finally here that I've been waiting for for a while. We're going to fire up the KBQ C60 and uh, we're going to do some cooking. I've got a prime rib roast, uh, not a very large one, and I've got a couple of racks of beef ribs. So we're going to fire this guy up and we're going to see what kind of food we can make with it. I've got high hopes for this and looks like it's going to be fun. So let's get started. So I lied just a little bit. I'm not going to have time today to get the beef ribs done, but I've got this uh, about a five and a half pound two bone prime rib that I've trimmed. I've actually trimmed the bone back and I've tied it back on for the cook. But I seasoned this guy in advance. I'm going to put some pictures up here on the screen of what I got. I got this guy on sale and I just decided to get it since it was on sale and make this one of my first cooks in the Karuba Q. So I trimmed it up a little bit and I seasoned it and I wrapped it back up in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. I like to do that. I like to season these things in advance. So this guy's now ready to go on the Karuba Q and I've got the Karuba Q fired up just like we did in the previous video and I've got it running at about 250 degrees. So let's get this guy on. Okay, we're running, like I said, right at 250. So I'm gonna open this guy up and I'm gonna put this roast in here bone side down right in the middle and we're gonna close it up and then I'm gonna show you how we've got our smoke vent set. Right now I've got the bottom vent fully open where it's pulling all the smoke from the bottom through the hot fire but for the first 30 minutes or so on this cook I'm gonna open the top where it pulls some of that smoke so we're gonna get about 30 minutes of all the smoke and then I'm gonna come back and close that one where we get nothing but clean smoke for the rest of the cook. We've been going almost two hours and a half. We've been going two hours and 25 minutes. This thing's looking pretty good. It's almost up to temperature. I'm temping about 117, 118 right here in the middle and I want it to get up to about 125. So we're gonna go a little longer and then I'll pull this guy out and we'll have a look at it. Okay guys, I've just pulled this off at an internal temperature of 125, so I'm going to wrap it up in foil and we're going to let this rest for about 20 minutes before we come back and cut it open. Okay guys, I've let this rest. We've got this beautiful roast here, so I'm going to slice right down the middle of this and we'll have a look. I want you to take a look at that. That is a beautiful cook. It smells amazing. I'm gonna get a little piece right here. Oh yeah, that's perfect guys. Mm, that is amazing, got amazing flavor, amazing smoke flavor too. So we're gonna wrap this up. That's the first cook on the KBQ C60. So like I said, I've got a couple of racks of beef ribs that we're going to do next so stick around let me know what you think about this follow me on facebook facebook.com slash man cave meals and until next time this is john setzler with man cave meals <music> <music>